So we had the SID Display Week, and uh, who are you? I'm Makoto Omodani from Tokai University, Japan. And uh, it says chair here. Oh, yes, I have just finished my job in this morning. Chair of a... Uh, uh, electronic paper session. My field is electronic paper. Like e-ink, e-paper? Yes, like e-ink or uh, some electrochromic devices. Okay. And uh, uh, right here, for example, you're talking about some of... This is one of the papers you published here, the SID Display Week? Yes, uh, I will talk about this technology in poster session this afternoon from 5 to 8. Uh, the title is Concept of E-Tile and its Prototyping. So what is the idea with E-Tile? Uh, this is a new application of uh, e-paper. Yeah. Uh, the expected application field is architecture, uh, uh, namely uh, building components. So, uh, so because it's just uh, segmented, or mm. uh, this is just a segmented display. But uh, our idea is to use these uh, small tiles for large area by allaying any number of tiles. So uh, I expect very large wall area can be covered this tile. So black and white or different colors too? Uh, till now, black, only black and white. And then uh, it will be, uh, for example, this prototype, you have um, electronics here? Yes. To do what? Yes, uh, to control pixels. Switching on off. Yes. And the pixel size is very big, one centimeter. And uh, pixel number is very limited, uh, 100 pixels in a, in a tile. But we suppose uh, many uh, big number of tiles will be allayed in a big space. So the total pixel number will be uh, enough. So um, then the on the big space, let's yes. say Tokyo 2020 Olympics, yes. maybe? Uh, hopefully. Just hopefully then the whole stadium will be able to show amazing graphics. Yes, very big. exactly. Like the whole, the wall yes. here, right? Yes. And it will work. Yes, it's my, one of my dreams. How much is one? Uh, it's uh, only a prototype, but... Uh, when is mass production? Um, it's uh, my future work, but I hope this one tile is hopefully... Affordable. Mm. Maybe it's secret. Mm. Secret? Maybe, Secret. but, but uh, maybe it should be affordable that the stadiums will use a big wall, every wall, yes. and display. And I can say it's uh, cheaper than using LD LEDs or using LCDs. How much cheaper? Uh, one... Uh, half the price. One uh, half or a quarter. Quarter the price. But also... Uh, better in the sunlight. If you have yes, uh, Olympics exactly. in the day and mm. not in the night, mm. you want it to be beautiful during the day. Mm. Because this is a reflective display, so uh, under sunlight it uh, can show its potential. Is it e-ink? Yes. And uh, uh, when you sh chair of the reflective uh, chair of the re reflective display, what the chair yeah, of the chair what? of e-paper displays. E-paper displays. E-paper and flexible displays. But it, this is not flexible. It's a rigid display. So does that mean it's also including uh, um, uh, like clear ink? Yes, exactly. Clear ink. Mm. And uh, what do you think the latest with clear ink? Oh, it's a very promising technology, I believe. Exciting. Yes, exciting. But uh, I wish we could see the final product. We have to wait a little bit, right? Yes. We have That's to wait, right. wait, wait. It's normal in the display industry, right? To wait. Um, but I, I hope in one or two years, they will show their product on the market. The final one. The perfect uh, color e-paper. How about the, the latest with e-ink? What do you think e about the color e-ink? Uh, yes, uh, they, are, they are doing very good job for color a panel so i hope in uh, before 
after, uh, in a one in one year uh, they will uh, sell some color panel on the market. Well, right now the switching is a little bit slow, right? Uh, but Can it's it be faster? not. Uh, but it's not so troublesome because uh, there are many application fields. So uh, billboard application or some information uh, board application, it is not so. Uh, not the biggest. But if you have the big stadium, mm. Tokyo 2020 mm. color e ink. Mm. Then it will be strange. It will flash, and people will say, "Why is it flashing?" Uh, they think uh, it's broken. So, it, so you have to choose a good application. Uh, it's not in universal technology, yeah. but very special technology for special field. Is it as good as a, a real painting on the on the on the wall? Yes, I think. And so it's like a museum piece. Mm. The museum will use the color e ink. Uh, yes, color ink uh, will provide some new uh, new feel for for artists because there's millions of colors, right? Ah, uh, yes. But uh, if using this kind of only monochrome type, uh, designers will find uh, their good new field for, of or design. I hope. Are there some other new uh, emerging technologies in this in this uh, area? Oh, emerging technology. It, when you talk about uh, uh, flexible and uh, and uh, and reflective displays, mm. did you have some some talks here? Some different. Mm. I know there are many many uh, new challenges for flexible OLEDs. But I'm not so good at for OLED technology, so I, my I am interested in e-paper technologies. And you have, uh, for example, you have a big uh, Sony reader, right? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. And so if you use this, for example, this is with the e-ink, this amazing yes. device. You use it to uh, to check the documents from your students. Yes, and uh, actually, I use this one for leading proceeding of this conference. It's awesome, right? It's amazing this to have this big A4 mm. smart display. I just would like to see this nice application to collaborate on mm. it. Well, this is very. Uh, but it's PDF only, right? Yes. But uh, still useful. Very light. Hmm. It should be revolutionizing the world, right? This yes, display I should change so. the world. I hope so. If they just sell it, it's just marketing right now, hmm. right? The problem is a little bit uh, high, higher price. On price the is a little bit higher. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's more expensive than the airplane to come here to SID. <laughs> <laughs>